Hello and welcome everyone, it is me the Laval, also known as the Power to Duelist, back for you with another part of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 E's over the Nexus. Last time we took care of initial dual runner business, but we got a help letter from Nico and Wes. And now we are back at Crashtown investigating the issue. But before that, I think I have some very important packs to open, um, which we will do right about now. And there it is. We have unlocked Crossroads of Chaos. Um, also, this Turbo Duel pack, I'll probably pick up a couple of those just for the start. But in general, I want to put as much of our current budget in the Crossroads of Chaos. And for the ones of you who do not know what's in this pack, you will quick quickly be educated. Because this pack holds the one and only Morphtronics. Um, been looking forward to this, I guess, for a bit now. Because um, I know we get this in a rather, you know, early point in the story. We got a cell phone here. We got a Magnum. We're, of course, looking for every bit of Morphtronic support we can get. An accelerator's in here. Uh, goes and match. There's a second cell phone, which is very nice to see. Uh, first copy of Boombox, and we will need those, especially early on. Monotron's not that hot. Um, a Black Rose Dragon is definitely cool. Morph Transition is neat. Um, Clock and maybe a one-off we can play just for some burn-related victories. Uh, Radeon's nice. Plex Spreader is a really strong tuner. Um, another Radeon here. Basically the place that now finished. Um, that is more than enough Radeons. We got a third Accelerator in here. Cameron isn't too hot. Uh... Oh, damn, our uh, Turbo Duel pulls are, like, quite nice, to be honest. Hey, there's the Turbo Duel MST. I think we'll just go for, like, five more Turbo Duel packs and then spend the rest on Crossroads again. Um, but, yeah, that was the plan all along. Uh, ooh, we got an Iron Chain Dragon. That's kind of nice. Um, no third cell phone, though, which is a bummer. Uh, maybe we do have one from the... Oh, wait. They, those are marked as new, right? So, yeah. With all that product opened, I guess I will just uh, quickly go in a deck at it, even if we just made some final changes for our deck, um, and see what I can put together with what we've got. Well, and as you will be able to currently see on screen, I have kind of cut down our usual Synchro Spam deck to include a solid portion of the Morphtronics we pulled. Um... Basically trying to, you know, keep some board presence with those. Uh, maybe tribute for a monarch. As you can see, we have included the Borg now in the main deck as well. Um, alongside the two Mobis we already had access to. Playing Armageddon Knight again as with Plague Spreader Zombie. We now have a very solid target for that to dump. So that is nice. Um, otherwise, um, Speed Duel deck is basically the same. But like with um, the upgraded Speed Duel lineup. Uh, with the upgraded uh, speed spell lineup, I guess. Um, so yeah, with that, we will jump into this new chapter of the story mode. Uh, see how janky it turns out, as this uh, definitely is far from optimal. I was uh, sad to realize that I was 40 DP short of getting myself the third copy of uh, cell phone. Um, cause I, uh, cause you can in, cause I got the card list for Crossroads of Chaos from like opening the packs. Um, and you can input the uh, card code on the bottom of a card uh, to get like singular cards if you have the card list for those. Uh, instantly grabbed my cell phones, of course, and was like, okay, maybe I can get my hands on a third one here. Um, but it was 40 DP short. Um, Laval, thanks for stopping by. My dad hasn't come back home for a while. He said he found a way to make some good money at Malcolm's, but one day he just never came back home. I've looked all over town and I haven't seen him anywhere. He did run into Kellen. I did run into Kellen while I was looking, though. What was that just? Excuse me. What is it? I knew it. You're the leader of Team Satisfaction. Kellen Kessler, aren't you? Teach me how to do it, please. You guys are like everything I ever wanted to be. There's no team by that name in this world anymore. Huh? Get out of this town now. If you stay here, nothing good will come of it. I'm not leaving. 
Why? I'm waiting for my dad. He hasn't come home for days, but I know he'll be back. West, I'm going home. If you don't hurry up, I'm gonna leave you. I've gotta go. See you around. It'd be like that. But I haven't seen him since. I still can't find dad either. Recently, we've been trying to stay here in the hideout as much as possible. Hmm? You wanna know where Malcolm is? I don't know. The Malcolm family runs everything west of the Central Plaza and Raymond Group the East. You go ask him about dad for us? Thank you so much. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's do that. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get into this gang wall over here. And see if we cannot make a name for us. Wasn't there like... Anti-magic arrow, okay. Uh, I thought there was some DP hidden in here, but no, sadly not. Raymond is an idiot. <laughs> this is the first obstacle, I think. Saluga, what do you want? Huh? You want to see Malcolm? I'm sorry, but nobody can just waltz in here and see our boss that easily. Boss is busy getting ready for our daily duels against the Raymond group. But hey, if you can beat me in a duel, then I guess I could let you meet with him. Let's try this. All right, if you want to meet with the boss, then you better beat me. Let's see what we can do. Now that I have a very familiar deck at my disposal. I'm back with the Crash Town style rules here. Uh, so we will need to worry about that. Um, shot misclick there, but no worries, no worries. Still about a second faster than our opponent. Let's see what this deck can do. Oh, open self on first game. I'm just too good. <laughs> Just too good. Um, I think we will go for that cell phone and we will go ahead activate the effect of Morphtronic cell phone for a three. Can we find a Morphtronic off the top is the big question. There's the clock and, and a Radeon. Yo. Radeon's a really solid one here. Summon that in attack position um, so that our cell phone is a bit beefier. But I think he will most definitely have a normal summon to contest self on here. And but we do have two monarchs in hand, which is very nice. Uh, 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 um. Summons Doom Caliber Knight. To run over Radeon. Doom Caliber is mandatory, so. We can easily bait that, but I don't really want to lose out on the cell phone trigger here. Sets to which is a bummer. I guess we end phase MST. Let's get rid of one of the back rows. Scapegoat, that's a good hit. We take those. Draw for turn here. Mm, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Oh, this Doom Caliber Knight is actually a problem. Uh, do we Lightning Vortex this? Do Am I really gonna Lightning Vortex one Doom Caliber? Fuck it. Um, I think we discard the Borg here. Uh, we then try the Cell Phone effect here. Let's see if we cannot find another Morphtronic off the top. With a 5. Our chances are looking quite solid, I think. Tribute to the Doomed. A Magnon! There it is! And Mophtronic Magnon will join the field. Uh, I think we will tribute the Magnon for Mobius here. Go ahead and activate the effect of Mobius, targeting that face down. It is a Swords of Revealing Light! Glad to see that. And with that, I think swinging with cell phone for 100 damage. <laughs> Big damage and then swing with Mobius. And we are off to a very, very solid start. Uh, main phase two, I can just go ahead and set the Torrential Tribute here. Be prepared for anything he might throw at us. Um, but I think we have a very solid start here. Currently not too convinced of the Accelerator though. 
that is like the one thing that currently worries me a bit. Uh, he will probably, DD Warrior Lady, crash that into Cellphone, I think. No, he will crash into Mobius, actually. That is a bold move, taking 900 damage here just to out Mobius. Um, he plays like a lot of these uh, very good normal summons, like Doom Caliber Knight was one of them. Um, and I think the rest of his deck is mostly similar stuff. Um, I'm thinking like uh, stuff uh, like a Thunder King Ryo is also in there. I think we go Accelerator here because like normal summoning Cameron isn't too hot. So we go Accelerator here, pop the back row. It's a Book of Moon. Also, we fast that out, which is nice. Um, yeah, we return camera into deck, see if we cannot find anything hotter off the top. Onres drawing a Clarken. Oh, interesting. I think we flip Salphon here. Uh, activate the effect of Salphon to see if we cannot find another Moftronic off the top with another five. Find an MST, a bottomless trap hole, a scrap iron scarecrow, another cell phone! Just what we want to see. Uh, I will, of course, go ahead and activate the effect of Moftronic cell phone! <laughs> another five! We go again. Accelerator. Datatron! Find another Datatron and a Junk Synchron. But the only target we can summon between those is the Datatron. Uh, no effects at the moment, but I think we will go ahead and summon that clock in an attack position. Uh, enter combat, go ahead and swing with cell phone. Swing with the other cell phone. Yeah, baby steps, I guess. <laughs> swing with clock in. And then go ahead and get a big hit in with the Datatron, I guess, for 1,200. A Datatron could also burn for 6 here, but I don't want to do that because I currently value the board presence a lot. Um, and I guess we are off to a very good start with this deck. If we don't get board wiped here, of course, which is a real possibility with... Uh, Ooh, I think that's Clarken, because it's 1100 defense, yeah. That is Clarken. Currently, we can still keep two cell phones on the board, which is nice. Um, he will take out the Datatron, okay. So we will get two cell phone triggers next turn. Um... Let's see how those treat us. There's a lot of possibilities for very good top decks actually here. Ooh, bottomless trap hole, that's really good. Um, but we do have two cell phones to trigger and we will go ahead and do so. Go ahead, cell phone one, roll the die. Fear Commander Ra, Spec Spreader Zombie and a Shrink. There is no more trying between those. I think we have cycled through a lot of those. Um, so we will need to get a bit luckier to find some at the current point in time. There's a Radeon. That's a strong one. Magnon's also quite nice. I think we will take the Radeon here. Uh, to get that uh, Shining Angel off the board. Uh, yeah, let's go into combat. Radeon into the Shining Angel, which will probably float into another Shining Angel. Uh, uh, um. I assume this much, I assume this much. We will not go crashing any cell phones into that. <laughs> we'll just set the bottomless trap hole and then see what he has in store for us. But I'm currently really liking this. <laughs> I just really like resolving cell phone. <laughs> It's such a great card. If he has like a big normal summon, oh, Silent Swordsman level 3, well, that is enough to get rid of both cell phones. Um, that is not great. That is not great. That most definitely isn't great. 
Because, yeah, that takes care of Sephiroth number one. And the Silent Angel, I assume, will take care of Sephiroth number two, which is unfortunate. Because there go both of our Sephiroths. But we still have Radeon sitting there. With 1800 attack, uh, that is nothing to laugh at, to be honest, which is the nice part. Uh, and we have a fair bit of good options in terms of top decks. Book of Moon isn't one of them, though. Uh, I think we will just go to combat. Uh, Radeon attempt to get that Silent Swordsman off the board. Which will be met with no response. I like to see it. Uh, we just got a main two here. Set the Book of Moon. And pass turn. Radeon beatdown it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a fair bit of good normal summons he can draw into, though. As mentioned, he is on Thunder King Ryo uh, and the Doom Caliber Knight. Sets a monster. Swats, swaps the Shining Angel to a defense here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we want to do here. Just draw for Ooh, Boombox is really hot here. That's a really good one. Yeah, we will go ahead and summon that Boombox. Uh, go to combat, actually. Uh, we will go Radeon into Shining Angel. Hopefully not run into a Mirror Force or something. No Mirror Force. Thank you very much. Radeon will take out this copy of Shining Angel. And since he is forced to summon in attack position... Uh, we might be able to game him here. Okay, DD Warrior Lady is a very unfun one. So I'll probably just uh, swing the boombox into that face down first. It's another Shining Angel. <laughs> Great. <laughs> he has an honest. Hey, um. But yeah, that's a boombox into Honest. We don't want him to keep that. For 900 damage. Yeah, boomboxing with Radeon on the board is actually like a threat. Because that's a 200, uh, 2000 attack point double attacker. Uh, which is very nice. Um, I think we have this game. Yeah, Moftronic's too strong, I guess. Moftronic's too strong. The deck is just too strong. But I do think we will... Uh, Open some more crossroads in between these duels uh, to hopefully find something good off the top. But uh, this Cyber Dragon will be met with a bottomless trap hole, which will... Oh boy, Royal Decree. Um, Yeah, that is a chain a Book of Moon, if I've ever seen one. Uh, and that will kind of defuse that Cyber Dragon as well. We know everything he has, he knows everything we have, because we have the game on board. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> We did open pretty well, I do have to say, um, and I had to Lightning Vortex a Doom Caliber Knight in the process. But I think this was a very cool duel, um, and we will go ahead and let Boombox and finish this one with an attack on the Cyber Dragon. And then we will boom boxing for game. Absolutely awesome. Really like that one. That was great. That was so great. Win the game bonus, duelist bonus. Yep, 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 yep. We do have a few bonus bonuses here to grab, and I think we will. Can't believe you actually beat me. All right, you can... I promise is a promise. You can see Malcolm, but it looks like we don't even have to worry about that anymore. And there he is. You're pretty good. So you want to see me? Wait, before you say anything and before I listen to you, you have to beat me in a duel. Well, we will go ahead and do that, but I think we will do go ahead and do that next time. Vanity's emptiness. That's kind of toxic, not gonna lie. Um. Hmm. I almost want to go back off screen to the uh, Damon area, uh, to the Damon area, and do like the last few dual puzzles in the bootleg bar for some more cash, because we currently could really use that. Um, we just go crossroads all the way. Missed the pack, but unlucky. Uh, Turbo Warrior is not too hard. There's a second boombox, and I like to see that. 
Um, we still have one pack of crossroads we can grab. Let's open this in the fancy fashion. A. Hey. Can we get a cell phone? No. Mechanic. Not even a Moftronic card. That is kind of sad. Um, but we do have a, another copy of Boom Boxing Up. Um, so I'll probably end this part here. I know this one's a bit shorter than the last one, but the... We do have a lot to cover next time, I guess. Um, I'll probably off screen go back to Damon, do the dual puzzles, um, get that money in, and then see what changes I can do on the deck for next week if I don't forget to do so. Um, or maybe with like 20 minutes left, I think maybe we just do that on screen, right? Um, if we even can leave the town, that's like the, the big thing limiting me right now. <laughs> can we even leave Crash Town? Find Sergio quickly. Okay, there's no time to go outside. Well, that means we have to finish this arc right here, right now. Uh, which means I will quickly add this boombox into the main deck. And I guess we can try Malcolm. But yeah, I'll do that real quick and then see what I can do. Doing a whole lot of changes to the deck this time around. Um, just cut out the the Borg for the second copy of Boombox. I was thinking of cutting a Datatron, um, but in the end decided not to. So we have more Moftronic names in deck. Um, as we currently are still very low on those, um, we kind of have to take what we can get. Um, but with that, I think we will take on Malcolm and see if we cannot take care of him as quickly as of his henchmen. Uh, but I think the first duel went very well, to be honest. Uh, quite... Sc oh, wow, that was... Jesus Christ, those inputs just... After the first one, they couldn't get better. I, I, I want to know what, like, the record is for, like, um... Oh, I think we are off to a very solid start here. We can go Armageddon Knight, activate the effect. Oh, that is so hard. That is so hot. Uh, we go Plague Spreader here. Uh, I think we stack Rotor. Summon Plague Sp Oh my god, this just feels good. Uh, I think we go Iron Chain Dragon, actually. I think there's not a whole lot he can do to, like, actually contest that. Uh, Iron Chain Dragon in a set 3 and pass i guess but yeah you just when you when you open armor knight just right damn that just hit different <laughs> holy crap our openers were nuts these two duels first game we open cell phone a bunch of staples uh wait what does gazam do let's try and send to the graveyard bike Do we bottomless this? I think we just wait. Oh yeah, we should have bottomless that. That is that should have been 100 percent of bottomless. Yeah. Okay, forgot saber slash. Yep. Uh that is a bummer. That is a bummer. Yeah. Could have just bottomless that off the field. Been like, yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. No for you. Sets two. That is quite rough. Uh, the big issue with like a lot of the characters that have like no dedicated deck in the anime. Um, I think I talked about this in Reverse of Arcadia. Is um, that sometimes they just get insanely powerful decks. I mean, we are currently playing against X Sabers of all decks. Uh, I think yeah, we go Ras here. Summon the Ras. Just met with a Saber Hole. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely use seven tools that. I hate to break it to you, but I think we have to seven tools that. And with that, the summon of Fear Commander Ras is successful, which will be the opportunity we take to stack a... Can he not stack himself? Oh, he cannot stack himself. Well, that is a bummer. Um, 
But I think, yeah, with that, we just pass the turn here. <laughs> we got into, like, this warrior engine we're playing, but I don't know. Currently, there's, like, a lot of really bad outcomes here. And that's a Hyunlei. That is probably one of these Suncrows that took X Sabers really over the top back then. Um, because this thing is insane. Being a kind of, you know, archetype of Suncrow that on Suncrow Summon can pop up to three spells and traps on the field. Absolutely insane. We will, uh, of course, bottomless that. Uh, uh, Godum's Emergency Call. That is not great. And we cannot really chain that. So we will have to contend with uh, another Hyunlei on board, which is not great. Um, yeah, X Sabers were a really cracked deck back then. Casually makes Hyunlei again. Uh, 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 um. Question is, do we bank on him not having like a follow-up normal summon? Because currently we're in a really rough spot, I think. I think it's fair to assume he has a backup normal summon. I think we just fire the tribute to the doomed. Hope he doesn't have a backup normal summon. If he does, we'll be damned. Ah, uh, that is not great. Okay, yeah. That is, back row is basically everything he needs and terms of like Jesus Christ yep yeah, our opener was good but um, not good enough apparently except for Erbalum that could yeah okay I'm very I'm very happy I did that because uh, losing cards from the hand would have been a bit rough and in this position we have a fair bit of good top decks we can make use of hopefully it's not Mobius I am Absolutely amazing at this game. <laughs> Cellphone effect. Please give me a Radeon. Seven tools. Shrink. Damn. Uh, yeah. That is going to be it, I guess. There's not a whole lot we can do against that. And I think we will take on Malcolm next time. Uh, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. Off to such a solid start, should have just bottomless the uh, the Garsum when it first hit the field. Yeah, there's no way we ought to Hyunlei from like an empty board state. No, 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 not really something we can do. Yeah. If we survive on Sangan Pass, we may be able to do something, because Sangan can actually add like a lot of good cards from our deck to, you, to our hand. Will he go straight to combat, or does he have a normal summon? He will go straight to combat, that is one thing, we take that. Question is, what do we add off Sangan now? I think Cellphone, honestly. I think it, it basically is just uh, Cellphone, right? Yeah. Just cell phone. Uh, 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 um, da -da -da -dum. I could have just let this one be a shorter part, but no. I of course have to go and take on the leader of a evil team. Okay. We can go summon cell phone. Hopefully he doesn't have a saber hole. Uh, summon is successful, so we can go ahead and resolve that cell phone effect. Um, for a six, that is strong. Ross, Accelerator, Datatron, Radeon, Boomboxen. Uh, I think we go Radeon here, yeah. We just go Radeon. We basically have to go to combat here, um, because... I mean, we can set Shrink, but the issue is uh, next time you just kill Cellphone. So we just go Radeon on the Hyunlei. I will not on Declaration. Can we go to Damage Step? We got a Damage Step. That's very hard. In Damage Step, we can shrink his Hyunlei. He doesn't have anything in Damage Step, which is very neat. 
Um, first damage of the game. Hey! If that's a God Arms emergency call, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> oh boy. Um, that is a rough one. That is a really rough one. He just sets one. Oh no. Don't do this. Please don't tell me fucking Set Sang and Pass just won me the game. We go self on effect. Find a five. Oh my god, our rolls are insane. Boom boxing. Oh boy. Magnum, Junk Synchron, Cyber Dragon. I think we go boom boxing. All or nothing. Are we gonna almost summon camera in here? Which becomes 1600 with the Radeon on board. Uh, I think we go 16 into that phase stone. That's like the safest bet, I guess. Oh, we got Mirror Force. Okay, we got Mirror Force for four. It's been nice. It's been real. Yep, we get Mirror Force for four. Okay. Yeah, then this game, this, this game was rigged from the start. <laughs> Yep, I think he just flip summons the monster he just set and normal summons a giant red. That's also a way to finish this. Oh my god. Yeah Sometimes just clicking clicking buttons is the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh Even makes a synchro just to flex on us makes X saber Wayne Yeah, sometimes clicking buttons just uh, really is the way to go Yeah, sometimes just clicking buttons really is the way to go. Because if we would have bottomless that Gossam, we've gotten in for a good bit of damage. Yeah, I think that uh, about sums up our experience. Um, yeah, I guess we'll try again next time. Um, that was very soul crushing after that first game, but yeah. It is what it is. I think I'll thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.